Hi guys, I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this incredibly fast and super delicious Instant Pot Chicken Tortilla Soup. And if you love this recipe, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. One of my favorite cooking tools in my kitchen is this Instant Pot. I use it all the time. If you've never used an Instant Pot before, here's the only thing you need to know. It creates a lot of pressure inside, which cooks food really fast. So I love using it for stews and soups, any recipes that take, you know, maybe between three and five hours to cook, this Instant Pot can get it done in 10 to 20 minutes. And for those of you that know what an Instant Pot is and you've used one before, you're gonna recognize that this is not an Instant Pot brand Instant Pot. This is a completely different brand, but it's a pressure cooker just like an Instant Pot and it works great and I've had it for years. First thing we're gonna do is dice one medium onion. I, did, I just cut this onion totally wrong. Um, you should always, well, you should always leave the end on. And then- You can leave the other end. Yeah, but it doesn't hold together as good. Anyway, guys, let's just keep going. I've already <laughs> messed up this onion in like record time. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, let's just peel it off. Next, we're gonna mince four cloves of garlic. Next, we're gonna set our Instant Pot to saute mode. So all you have to do is hit saute and then start, and it's gonna heat up. I'm gonna grab a little olive oil. It's about a tablespoon. We're gonna saute these onions for about uh, just a few minutes or just until they're softened. Now I'm gonna add my garlic and cook for just about another minute. Next, we're gonna take the majority of our ingredients and just toss them into the Instant Pot. This is the genius of this machine. Really, you just kinda of toss a bunch of stuff in, let it cook for a little bit, and it turns out amazing. So, first up is our chicken broth. We're gonna add one quart, which is basically four cups. Uh, guys, sorry, I said chicken broth, it's chicken stock, my bad. What is the difference? I don't know the difference. I don't know the difference between chicken stock and chicken broth. If anyone in the comments knows, please let me know. Next, we're gonna add one can of rinsed and drained black beans. Now we're adding one four ounce can of hatched chilies. You can't leave any of these amazing chilies in the can, you gotta use them all. These chilies give you a ton of flavor in the soup, so don't skip this stuff. Now we're adding one 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Next up is one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Next, we're gonna add our spices, one teaspoon of cumin. And two teaspoons of chili powder. Now we're gonna give it a quick stir. And come in, let me uh, show everybody how it's looking. <laughs> Climb up on the counter, here we go. So this is exactly how it should look. Now we're gonna set our Instant Pot. So let's put the lid on first. Guys, I am not an idiot. It's just really hard sometimes because I have to point this machine towards you, so I'm doing everything kind of backwards. That's not a good excuse. I should know how to do this by now. Forgive me. Uh, okay, put, our, <laughs> put the top of our Instant Pot on. Lock it into place. Make sure you set uh, the release valve to pressure. And let me show you how this looks. Okay, look, see, here's the pressure valve. Um, if we're doing pressure cooking, you wanna set it to pressure. If I was just doing um, like a slow cook, I would do it here. But I'm doing it to pressure, so set it to pressure. And now we're going to turn off the saute function and we're going to set it to pressure cook on high pressure for 10 minutes. And then just hit start. Keep in mind that the Instant Pot has to come up to full pressure before the timer starts. The 10 minute timer just finished, so now we're gonna release the pressure. Should only take about, I don't know, about a minute for the pressure to fully release, and then we can take the top off. Whoa. All right, Ann, come in and get a shot of this. This looks so good already, and guys, if you could smell it, it smells amazing. So the next thing we're gonna do is take the chicken out and give it a shred. I'm gonna use two forks to do all the shredding. There's really no technique that you need to know here. Just get into it, break it apart, and then just pull in opposite directions with both forks. 
Now we're gonna add this shredded chicken back into our pot. We're also gonna add in our one cup of frozen corn. And I'm gonna squeeze in the juice of one lime. Lime juice is an incredibly important ingredient in this tortilla soup um, because it gives it like that little acidic zing. Guys, I just want you to know I'm doing this left-handed so that my other camera can see what I'm doing. It's pretty talented. A really important step, we've got a salt and pepper to taste. I do about three big pinches of salt. I kind of like my soups a little salty. Maybe a fourth here. And then the same, uh, maybe a little bit less pepper. Probably about two big pinches. Maybe three. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Three is... Three is fine, three pinches. Okay, let's mix that up. <laughs> okay, and come in one more time. Look, guys, look at this. Beautiful. Instant Pot Chicken Tortilla Soup. It smells amazing, it looks amazing. I cannot wait to give this a taste, but before I do, if you've loved this recipe and you wanna see other recipes just like it, check out my Healthy Recipes playlist. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I love to plate my Instant Pot chicken tortilla soup. First, I'm going to use my ladle and grab a big heaping portion, drop it into the bowl. This soup is so delicious. It's really chunky. Like I love a really hearty soup and that's exactly what this is. First garnish I'm gonna put on is the avocado. We have prepped it beautifully. Look how it's fanned out so nicely. Next, I'm gonna add a dollop of sour cream. And if you wanna be healthier, you could also use Greek yogurt. The next thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of my favorite cheese. I don't feel like we need a lot of cheese on this tortilla soup, so I'm just gonna do a little sprinkle. Next up is some cilantro. And of course, you cannot have tortilla soup without tortilla chips. So you have a choice here. I like to put my tortilla chips right in there. And just stick them in kind of around the outside edge. But you could also just throw them on the side and then kind of like you would eat nachos, just kind of dip into the soup. It's completely your preference. Um, and if you also want to, you could always crush the tortilla chips and then sprinkle them in. All right, let's give it a taste. I'm gonna make sure I grab plenty of chicken, soup, and a little bit of the garnishes. That is so good. This tortilla soup is so delicious. And as you can see, we made it in the Instant Pot. We made it fast. It's so easy and it's so quick. Guys, I know you're gonna love this recipe. You've gotta try it. I'll see you in the next video.